Good afternoon, everyone. I'm back with the tip for new coin collectors. I'm filling my Canadian five cent coin album, and I was thinking I haven't done a video on a tip for new coin collectors in a while, and I had a good idea of what to um make a video on. It's more than just filling a coin album for me. Um, it's easy to take them out of here and put them in here. What I do is first I write down the dates that I have, not the ones that I need, or you have a big list depending on what year it is. I write down the dates that I have. I take this to my local coin shop. So it's a lot easier that way. Then you see what dates they have or wherever. Then you pick up the dates that you need. And what I'm doing now is I say I put it 1902 Canadian nickel in there. And I write down the grade that I have that I bought, which is EF. And I write it on the paper, it's EF, so if I want to go to my local coin shop and upgrade that to an AU, or for example, I know what date to upgrade. And I got one that's hold, like the 1892 is hold, so I'm definitely going to upgrade that one. And a 1912 I put upgrade near it, because the one I got is like AG, about good or whatever. So, it's more than just taking the coins out and filling a book. Now, see that 1920 I got, that's an EF grade. And you basically want all your grades to stay pretty consistent in the book, depending on what set you got and what you can afford to do. These first from not 1858 to 1920, them suckers are expensive. Them, they call them Canadian fifth scale nickels because they're tiny as heck. And you want to, you know, write down what you have. And when you go, you want to upgrade it to a better grade. So you have a consistency in your um, collection. So I'm at the point where I'm getting more into coin collecting and more of filling books. But um, these Lighthouse albums are beautiful and they're not that much money. So that's my tip for today. And it's simple. Just write down what you, dates you have. So you could take it to your coin meeting, wherever you buy your coins. And write down what grades they are. Then if you want to upgrade them in the future, you do so. You know what wants to upgrade instead of pulling them out of the book and grading them and everything else. It's a lot easier. All right, take care. Have a good day. And that's my tip for today. Thank you.